This tutorial is to show you how to add a callout in Plan and Building section. When you add callouts, it adds a more zoomed in drawing that you can use for wall sections and floor plan details. Starting with Plan, we go to the View tab, and the Callout button allows us to then add a callout, which creates a new zoomed in drawing. You also notice that there's a pull down, and the rectangle is the default but there's a sketch version so you can make something that is not a rectangle. It allows you to create a custom area for that callout. We're going to stick with the default for now, but that's something that you could play with later on. I'm going to zoom into a corner and I'm going to create an area for my callout. And you notice that it created a bubble that gives information on where it's going to be on the sheet when I move that. I can also move the bubble around so that it's out of the way of other things like notes and dimensions. And then if I hit escape, we notice over here in the project browser that I've got a callout called first floor callout because I added that callout on the first floor. I can double click on that and now we can see the zoomed in version of that. You notice that the scale is different because the scale of the first floor was 1 8 so it increased the scale because it's a call out. It does default to the core scale detail level so I'm going to change it to the fine and now I can start to see the assembly of the wall that I created when I made that wall for this project. It's also showing me the AutoCAD file in the background so I want to click on that and hit hide and view elements and now I have something to work with to start from my floor plan detail. One of the first things I want to do is I want to bring in a break line that shows that the drawing ends but the wall continues because I don't want to leave this crop view on for the entire drawing. So what I need to do now is I need to go back to the annotate tab and I'm going to bring in what's called a detail component. A detail component is different than the components we looked at earlier that we bring in that are for plans and other things. When we go to annotate and go to detail components, detail components are for things like our floor plan details and our wall sections. So when I click on that, you notice that there's already a W section that is a default, and then there are a few bricks as well. I need a break line, so I'm going to go to load family, and within my library, I'm going to go to annotations, architectural, and I'm looking through here, and there is not a break line. That's because I actually need to go to a different folder. I need to go to the detail items folder because I'm now using the detail item component, not the regular architectural component. When I double click in the detail items, because a break line is not something that deals with actual construction materials, I would go to general and there I find the break line. I hit open and that loads it into project. And since I was already in the detail component, um, element it loads it in directly and you notice I can place it and when I place it it actually has this white masking region and what that does is it allows me to place it at the edge of my drawing and then hide that crop line. I can also use the spacebar to rotate it around and move it where I feel is appropriate. I can also copy it by clicking on it when the modify tab opens up copy it and move the copy where I would like it and rotate that one based on where I think is appropriate. Now I have these break lines and I can hide my crop region and then start putting in other detail components like bricks and studs.